Hello everyone, and I hope you're doing great. Now, today we're on our third titration question. And the question reads that 25 milliliters of phosphoric acid solution was delivered in a volumetric flask. 8 milliliters of a 0.31 molar concentration of calcium hydroxide solution was used to completely neutralize the phosphoric acid solution. What is the concentration of the phosphoric acid solution? Now remember, the first thing you should always do is to write your balanced chemical equation. From your balanced chemical equation, determine your molar ratio between the acid and the base. For this example, the molar ratio between phosphoric acid and calcium hydroxide, respectively, is 2 to 3. Now the next thing I want to do is to quickly remind you of the formula. And so the formula is MAVA divided by NA equals to MBVB divided by NB. M represents the molarity or the molar concentration. V represents the volume. And N represents the number of moles based on the balanced chemical equation or simply the molar ratio. A is for the acid and B is for the base. Now let us look at our question and plug our variables into the equation. Now remember, we do not have the molarity of the acid. We need to find that. So therefore, it is multiplied by the volume that was given, which is 25, divided by 2, because there are 2 moles of phosphoric acid that is required in the balanced chemical equation. And so that equals to the molarity of the base, and the molarity of the base was given as 0.31, multiplied by the volume of the base, which is 8, divided by 3, because we have 3 moles of calcium hydroxide based on the balanced chemical equation. Now let us make Ma, which is the molarity of the acid, be the subject of the formula. So therefore, it equals to 0.31, multiplied by 8, multiplied by 2, divided by 25 multiplied by 3. Therefore, the molarity of the acid here is 0 0.0661. All right, I hope this lesson was really helpful for you. And I want to thank you for watching this lesson. And I want to tell you today that you need to always be happy. Regardless of the situation, regardless of what is happening, please try and be happy as you can. Have a blessed and wonderful day. And I will talk to you soon.